Hi everybody, it's Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. I've got a lovely dark green Olympia SM3 for you today. So we're gonna take a look at it. This one does have a little cork to it, but um, I think you are still going to enjoy it and find it very um, useful for your writing projects. And it's a lovely machine. It looks really good. Okay, so this one has um, the tab sets in the back. I'm gonna flip this up really quick. This is what distinguishes it from an SM4. So the tabs are right here and you just press and drag. You don't have to pull them off like you do with the Smith Coronas. So there's your tabs. Um, and then there's a button to the side that you press. That's your paper holder, your um, paper release, margin i mean your carriage release now this is the cork with it first of all i need to release the carriage because it's locked and this is your carriage lock so now it's unlocked so the carriage release works but you gotta flip it back up um, so it sticks down and um, rob worked and worked on it but he just couldn't get it to pop back up so that's the cork on this typewriter um also on the left side, oh, did I do margins? Margins, squeeze and drag. Very easy, very nice. Everything's in good condition on this one. Um, return handle, and then your line selector, one, two, or three lines. And then if you go all the way up to the top, does this have it? I can't see. Oh, it doesn't. Some of them have a little, like a dot that um, kind of locks the roller, but it doesn't have that. So, um, and then this is your roller release. Back here is a lever and you press down, that releases your roller in case you need to do any fine adjusting on that. Okay, let me move the carriage to the left. Pop open the top. Inside you're gonna see the ribbon. It's a universal ribbon, black and red combo, black on top, red on bottom. When it is time to change it out, pull these arms open pop them out pop the new one in make sure it's threaded properly there is a photo up close photo of this just make sure you click the product listing link in the description below and then you can bookmark it or save that photo and use it for reference purposes this is called your escapement um and then also remember that your um when you get to the end of your spool, it's not the end of your ink. You need to reverse the direction of it with, you just see these double barrels, you just press. Okay, either side doesn't matter. You just press them and that reverses the direction of your spool and you should be able to do that dozens of times before you need to replace it. This is like a touch control that determines how hard these tight bars are gonna strike your paper. Okay, let's close that top and make sure it's popped in all the way. Here's your tab button. This is your backspace and your margin release, which we'll show here in a minute, and then your color selector. Let's go ahead and do our typing demo. Okay, so let's do the typing demo. You just uh, take paper and set it right here and then turn the handle. That'll pull it through. Make sure it goes underneath the metal bar. And I like to come, let me move the typewriter down a little bit. Sorry, I always forget that part. Um, oh, it's pretty even. It's a little bit off. So if your paper is off, then this is your paper release. Pull that forward and then adjust to where you need it. Re-engage, voila. Check my margins. And we're gonna do our typing demo now. Okay, so there's no number one. You use your lowercase L, it's a 1957 Olympia SM3. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and test out each of these keys. Um, Try the tab. That works. So this, um, people love Olympias because they are pretty smooth 
to type on. And they're a good working machine. This one, um, I think I already showed you the one cork with the carriage. And then you'll notice that the, um, uh, you can take a look at the type font. It's a little uneven. It's still readable, but it is a little uneven and uh, we tried adjusting and um, as far as Rob was able to do, this is as good as he's gonna get. So um, if you're looking to, you wanna get into Olympia's, but you can't afford the Olympia price tag, this will be a good Olympia for you because it's still beautiful. Um, on the outside, it looks really good, but because it has those quirks, the um, carriage return, which we'll show you again, um, which really shouldn't be that big of a deal. You just it's just a quirk, and then um, and then the font is uneven, so you're still going to be able to type really well on this. But it's kind of like um, so. Like I got this couch that I loved. It was my dream couch, but the bed skirt at the bottom had a tiny pin prick in it, so I got it for like half price. Now this isn't going to be half price. But you, you see what I'm saying? It's still a great working typewriter. Um, just has, it's not perfect. And so the price will be a little bit lower on this because of that. So those are, and um, if you're like me, that's the kind of stuff I look for because I don't need a new car. Get me a used car that's a fraction of the price that's like two or three years old and I'll take it, you know, and I get much more car for the money. Okay, let's go ahead and type out. So are you a new car person or a used car person? I never buy new, just because I can get so much more for my money. But I also have friends, or I know people that they will never buy used. It, like my grandfather, only bought new. That was it. Okay. Um, so let's try out the red. Oops, two at once doesn't work either. So backspace. I'm going to keep going. I'm right in the middle of my word, so um, we'll test out the margin release. Okay, so it stops. So for those of you new to typewriters, when you hear that bell, that's telling you, hey, you're at the end of the line. You need to hit your return handle. Um, but if you keep going like I did, it's going to stop, so I can't do anything. I can't move or type. But if I hit MR for margin release, I can keep going. Okay, so um, you guys can take a look at that. It's actually, the font's really not that bad. It's just not perfect. And again, the only other issue is um, when you hit the carriage release, you have to, it sticks down. You just have to pop it up with your thumb. Two very minor things on this typewriter. So I won't be putting it at the top price point. It'll be towards... Um, it'll be a little bit cheaper than most of the Olympias that we list on our website. So this is going to be a good bargain for somebody because it's still a great typewriter. Okay, thanks so much for watching. You all have a great day.